So we started praying about poverty in the year 2000. Um, we'd been praying all along, but in the year 2000, I, as a watchman, I was praying over our territory, and I was actually on a midnight watch, midnight to 3 o'clock in the morning is my best time <laughs> to hear from God. And I was at the church, and I was walking in our prayer room, and I was just saying, God, you know what? We've heard prophecies. We've had prophetic words about the transfer of wealth. We've had prophecies. But, Lord, we are, we are just stuck here. We need, we need something. Something needs to be dealt with. See, we were, of all the counties in Florida, there's 67 counties in Florida. In the year 2000, we were ranked number 64 out of 67 on the economic scale. In other words, we were one of the poorest counties in Florida. All the stuff that went along with that. So I was saying, you know, Lord, we've been put here to change this. And so I said, but why aren't we seeing the change? And so the Lord gave me a scripture. And in the scripture, and you can read about it in my book, The, the Cyrus Decree, but I, and in, I think, uh, Discernment, I think, talks about it as well. The Lord gave us the understanding of two demonic strongholds that were over our, our territory and showed us a prayer strategy, how to prophetically open the heavens and open the earth in our area. And how to deal with this poverty structure that was over our land. And the first time that I preached on it, literally the sound system melted. Like the circuits melted into the board. I preached the whole message with no amplification, no microphone. Don't worry, I prayed over the sound system, okay? Because the second time I preached it in another church, the same thing happened. The third time, I mean, I'm a prophet, but I'm a little slow. The circuits melted, and I realized, you know what? This is something the enemy does not want to hear. Because it broke the spirit of poverty, and it released an anointing for prosperity in our land. And within 18 months of us beginning this strategy and God giving us this revelation, within 18 months, we went from being one of the poorest counties in Florida to becoming the fastest-growing real estate market, the wealthiest real estate market in the entire continental United States. Now, 22 years later, we are now listed, ranked, as one of the four fastest growing counties in all of America. And our county is now the top revenue producer in the state of Florida. Our school systems, which at that time were at the very bottom, they started to improve over the next several years. Our son-in-law just got elected to his third term. When he started, we were ranked 35th in the state. So that was in the middle. We'd already seen some improvement. This last year, we were ranked third in the state. Our police department is ranked third in the state. We're shooting for number one. We're the top revenue producer. Come on. How many believe that when the righteous stand up, when the righteous watch and pray and download heaven's strategy, there is nothing that is impossible. Come on. There is nothing that is impossible. God broke the yoke of poverty. God broke the the yoke of, uh, uh, of witchcraft. And our area has an open heaven. And people are moving in by the droves because they want to live because we've changed the whole atmosphere of where we live. Before it was dark, it was oppressive, it was filled with infirmity, it was filled with, uh, with uh, the, the, the spirit of depression and poverty, mental illness, all these things. It's all shifted, it's all turned around because God has a people in that land that were willing to rise up and say, you know what? We believe that we can actually change this. We believe in the process of transformation. And if you wanna find this in scripture, go to 2 Kings chapter two, when Elisha was given the double portion mantle the very th- first thing he did with that double portion mantle is he went in and he broke the curse off of Jericho. He broke the, uh, the assignment of death and barrenness off the land. He broke it off the water system and he made the decree. No more death and barrenness and the water remained healed until this day. I'm telling you, God has anointed us to be transformation agents and that only happens as people start watching, people start praying, p- people start downloading strategies from heaven. No matter where you're from, God can enable you to hook up with other watchmen, other intercessors, other leaders, other reformers, and form a coalition 
that can actually topple principalities and powers and bring in a whole new day that opens the heaven, opens the earth, and brings kingdom transformation. If you want to be a, a reformer, if you want to be a transformer, I want you to jump to your feet right now. And I want to pray for you. Matter of fact, get out of your seats. Come to this front area. I want to pray for you as we're wrapping this up today because I believe that God is opening up our eyes, opening up our ears. We heard it last night. We heard it earlier this morning. I believe that God is saying now is the time. We have no more time to waste. We have no more time to lose. We've got to get serious about this. And I just believe that God is going to anoint you for this time and for this season. I want you to lift your hands up all over this place and just begin to pray in the spirit. Now lift your hands really high if you want that same activation anointing that Bishop gave to me. I'm not saying it will manifest the same way, but lift your hands really high. Father, Lord, you lay your hands on them. You release to them, Father God, that which they need to see, to hear, to know, to be activated, to be equipped, to, to have wisdom and revelation. Ephesians 1, 17 and 18, Paul prayed for the church in Ephesus and he said, listen, Ephesus is full of witchcraft. Ephesus is full of idolatry. Tree. Ephesus is the center of the world for magic training. Here's what you're going to need. You're going to need the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. That the eyes of your understanding can be enlightened and you can know what is the hope of your calling in Christ Jesus. So Father, right now, today, God, I thank you for activating a spirit of wisdom and revelation. Activating a discernment, oh God. Activating, Father God, a mercy gift in those that need it. Activate, Father God, the eyes that see, the ears that hear. Activate us, O oh God, to be able to see what is necessary to open the heavens over our region. Lord, activate in us what we need to see to activate that open heaven into our open earth, Father God, that will result in the transformation of territory, that will result in the salvation of families, that will result in a great awakening and a mighty harvest, God. God, that you desire to bring forth on the earth. God, strip our eyes. Uh, Father God, the curtain away from our eyes, the veil away from our eyes. God, those personal issues that keep us bound up, oh God.